Hi, this is Ken and Giselle. And welcome to another edition of Coffee Pot Cocktails. Wow, it's been a while since we've been here and we're a little bit rusty. <laughs> but hey, we're going to go go ahead with the game here. That's right. Uh, we have uh, some great drinks for you uh, to put together for your summer gatherings. And it's not quite a cocktail, so we're for doing the normal coffee pot. That's okay. But, but before we get crazy here, we have a couple shout outs to do. Ken, why don't you go oh, first? Oh, uh, we do. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I found out uh, this week that my school buddy uh, Stan is actually retiring from the United States Postal Service. One of those, Stan. one of those essential workers still going at it, uh, at least for another few days. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we wish the best of luck to Stan in his retirement. And I have a shout out to my friends at the Fountains. I miss you all, and I can't wait to see you on a regular basis. But I really hope you enjoy this cocktail. Mwah. All right. Let's get started. One more thing to do before we get started. Yeah? Last week, we put out a message basically saying uh, that we didn't quite feel funny. Okay. And uh, our, our good friend Judy uh, responded uh, basically and said, just do shots. <laughs> lots oh and lots of <laughs> shots. So, uh, in honor of Judy, uh, we have purchased... Uh, Liqueur 43, which is a Spanish liqueur. It is a secret family recipe uh, that is produced uh, a lot of uh, different ingredients that are nice there. If you go to their website, you'll actually see a, a really nice complement of cocktails okay. and also uh, its uses with coffee. So oh, Sunday uh, fun day, friends. Yes. So uh, to Judy. Oh, that's yummy. Mmm. Okay. Maybe I think later. there will be. There may just be lots and lots of shots. Maybe. You never know. <laughs> but, All right. anyways, what are we going to do today? We're going to Spain. Woo! Did you know we're traveling? I hope you have your passport because we're going to Spain. And when you're in Spain, what do they drink in Spain? Uh, 43. Aside from 43. Um. Oh! Sangria. Sangria. That's what we're making today. We have a fabulous recipe from the Minimalist Baker. Mm -hmm. It's a very authentic, basic recipe, so you can just feel free to um, uh, go with it. You can start with the basic and then just add to it and build to it. So how do we get this started? Well, the website gave basically, like you said, right. a base mm -hmm. to go by. Okay. And so we're going to go with that. And the first ingredient that we're going to throw in there is our fruit. And the fruit is basically one half orange, or approximately a half orange, mm -hmm. and a half of no. apple. Uh, no. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, it depends on the size more. of your fruit and how fruity you like your sangria. That's right. So that's where we started there. Next and thing we're going to add in four tablespoons of brown sugar. Now we went with four tablespoons versus the th versus three which the, men, uh, the recipe suggests because we, when we did our testing, we liked it a little bit sweeter. And the brown sugar is, makes a unique sweetness it to does. it as opposed to just adding cane, white yeah. cane sugar. Yeah, it gives it a nice complexity. Yes. Good, good flavors. So we're going to just muddle that now just for a slight bit. Yeah, about uh, a minute. Yeah, we're not going to go hardcore minute. like no. Giselle normally does with her muddling. That's but... We got it? We all set? All or right. Or two. Okay, we're good. Okay. So the next part of what we're going to add in there is the liqueur. And in this case, we're going to be adding brandy. Just plain, regular brandy in our case. Okay. But by all means, you can go with something maybe a little bit fruity to add into your uh, sangria. So this is just straight over-the-counter plain brandy. All right. What, what's next, babe? Uh, we're going to go with orange juice. By the way, the brandy, we added in one-third of a cup plus a little bit more because Giselle always likes a little bit more there go. now we're going to go with three quarters cup of orange, orange juice. juice and we're going to just mix that up a little bit more there we go, there we go. nice nicely set up all right all right and then we're going to go ahead and add in our Spanish wine we're going to add the whole bottle of Spanish wine into this uh, pitcher now the recipe will say you know, should add ice to your pitcher 
We say no. Don't dilute those wonderful flavors. What you want to do is let it marry in the fridge for, you know, eight, eight plus hours. Uh, honestly, we went ahead and, and uh, let ours mix in for overnight last week, and it tasted fabulous after it had a chance to just soak Absolutely. With, the, with the fruit. So save your ice for your glasses after the fact. Absolutely. Without a doubt. You don't want to dilute any of those great flavors that are developing as a result of the fruit. Nope. The brandy and the wine sure mix don't. up in there mm. together with the brown sugar. Oh, wow. That smells All really right. nice. So, so that's we're going to take fridge. this and now put it in the fridge. And I'll tell you what, while I'm putting that in the fridge, mm -hmm. why don't we do another shot for Judy? Okay. Anything for Judy. All right. So this is going in the fridge. In the fridge. So it can chill. Right. So it would really be worth it for yourselves if you would just not be impatient and just let it settle for several hours and even overnight. Now we're going to come back in about a few hours. I would say six, eight hours. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go out onto the porch and we're going to uh, give it a try. Yes, we are. To Judy. Oh. <laughs> That was two shots. Woo! Woo! And we're back. Hey friends, how's it going? So our sangria has been uh, in the fridge for quite some time. Yep, it married all night. <laughs> so uh, we're ready to uh, pour and sample the sangria. So some into my glass. Color is beautiful. And, you know, it's, it's ruby red. And it's okay that. if some of the fruit kind of Boop. falls in there as well. That's, That's all right. part of uh, the sangria experience. It sure is. I'm going to add a little garnish onto mine. It's optional, but uh, makes it a little bit more festive. And if you want, you can always give it a twist and drop it inside and the. Doesn't the sangria. that look beautiful? Yep. All right. Nice presentation with the, the goblets, I guess you could say as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So uh, here we go. Oh, this You're was worth, right. This was worth waiting for. An overnight, overnight with the sangria. Perfect. Really is. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, all really gonna enjoy this. You know what? There's only one thing missing. You know, sangria, we had the 43, the toast I to know. Judy. You know, if only we were in a cafe in Spain enjoying this, it would be perfect. That would be fabulous. You know, if only there was some way to do it. Well, I don't know. Maybe if I just... Whoa! Wow! Hola! Como esta? <laughs> Oh, rude. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, folks, um, we're going to enjoy the rest of our sangria here in the cafe, unless they run us out of town. And uh, as we normally end all our coffee pot cocktails. Enjoy, friends. And you be safe out there. <laughs>